Hello everybody, it's Jay here, and today I'll be showing you how to batch fade in Logic Pro 10. Apple just put out a big update, as you can see by the change in visuals, that made batch fading much quicker than it used to be, as well as a lot of other things. I still want to show you the old method and the new method together, because I believe they're both still useful. Alright, let's get started. So to do the new method, all you have to do is select the amount of regions you want to edit. So in this case, I'd say all of them. And there's a bit of, or there's not a lot of space in between these tracks, so it's going to make it a little bit hard to do this. So I'm just going to move this one a little bit over. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to select all, and then make sure that you have the fade tool selected either as your primary or as your secondary. And you're going to hold command. Now say you're doing a fade out, you would hold command and then swipe towards the right from the inside of the region out into the grid. And then for your fade in, still holding command, you would fade to the left, once again from the inside out. Um, and there you go. It, this was not possible in the other logics. I don't know why it took them so long to fix it, but now it's possible. So I'm just going to remove all these fades because I want to show you another method. This is kind of the old way to do it, but I think it's still useful because it's a lot more precise. And maybe it's just because I'm used to it, but it's still kind of faster for me. So you're just going to do Command-A, just a quick way to select them all, and then go to More in your Region tab and then you're going to see fade in and fade out. And you can actually just enter a specific value. So say 100 will be your fade in, and then 100 will be your fade out. And as you can see, it's going to apply this to as many regions as you want, but it's going to be a specific value, which can be very helpful. So there you go. That's two methods to batch fade in Logic Pro 10. I'm so happy that Apple has finally fixed it because this used to be very frustrating because it's a, it's a very important feature to have. Fades are very useful in your mixes. So anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like below. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, everyone.